My name is Claudio Cercione. I work in Istituto Romagnolo per lo studio e la cura dei tumori di Namadori, located in northern part of Italy. And it's my pleasure and honor to present at this ASCO 2024 an oral presentation about the rule of full body MRI combined with the PET FDG in multiple meloma, newly diagnosed in relapsed refractory. It is really surprising to see from our mono-institutional study that the combination between the two diagnostic tools has a changing in the outcome of our patient. Particularly, we have studied 73 patients, both newly diagnosed in the relapsed refractory, and we have seen that full body MRI has an accuracy of 97%, but particularly, we have seen that in 26% of the patients, the outcome had changed thanks to the combination, thanks to the combining of whole body MRI on the PET FDG result. This means that some bone lesions are not discovered only by FDG PET, but can be better clarified before that they give symptoms and sign thanks to the introduction of high definition full body MRI. And this means that about one patient on four can change the outcome, can change his journey, anticipating the treatment in terms of newly diagnosed approach or in terms of switch to another therapeutic approach in a relapsed refractory setting. This is only the first part of a multi-omic study that we are performing in our institution in which we are characterizing from a molecular point of view our patients. We want to clarify new biomarkers and we want to study also the patient in terms of MRD negativity from a biomarkers driven approach. We dream that thanks to this, together with the clinical characterization of our patients, we will be able to define a new prognostic score. And I think that in these years we have concentrated a lot on the revolutioning of the therapeutic scenario of multiple myeloma. We have seen many new drugs, new combinations approved and registered, but I think that the optimization of diagnostic tools means optimizing the treatment of our patient, means the optimization of those of the drugs of the selection of the exact therapy and also about the improving of the outcome of our patient. That's why I think that also thanks to the improving of diagnostic tools in terms of studiation and restudiation, we continue to run towards the cure of multiple myeloma. And this is the best wish that we give to our patients, to their caregivers and to all myeloma researchers around the world. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.